Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. So my name is Edward Keat and I'm, I'm really excited that you're here because I want to talk to you guys about um, lead generation, but this is particularly a, a tutorial for beginners. All right, and this is going to really work in 2024. All right, so, so if you're somebody who's struggled in generating leads, uh, but you've never done anything like this before and you're, you know, maybe you've done, uh, you know, you've been involved in a couple of business opportunities, maybe network marketing, maybe some affiliate marketing or whatever. Um, and you'd like to learn some simple tips and tricks, maybe not even have to spend any money just so that you can get off the ground. And that's, that's what this video is about. So I'm prepared to give you a step-by-step -step guide tailored for beginners to get you started in uh, lead generation. All right, so, you know, guys, are you are you new to MLM? Okay, are you looking for lead generation tutorials for 2024? That's what I believe I can help with in this video. All right, so a little story about me. All right, so when I was a newbie, um, you know, I, I, I struggled in network marketing, really, because I I, I am dyslexic and I thought that that was going to be a problem. You know, I've been conditioned to believe that anything that I try, you know, I got into, um, you know, when I left school, uh, I couldn't get into university. All right. So, you know, I had to look for whatever could be available for someone like me who didn't have the qualifications. Um, so I got into catering. And even with catering, you know, I knew I couldn't go all the way because, you know, when you get to a head chef position, um, you know, you're going to be, you know, spending quite a lot of time in doing costings and desk work and, uh, you know, the various important things that are, you know, sort of related to the management side and stuff like that. And I knew I would even struggle with that, you know, but my ambition, on the other hand, was very high and I wanted to succeed in something, um, but I, I was just lacking in options. So, you know, thank goodness I was exposed to network marketing when I was in my early 20s. Um, and it was a it, it was a, you know an opportunity for me to potentially you know put aside uh, what was uh, potentially going to hold me back, okay? Because I you know all I needed to know from my sponsor when he introduced network the concept of network marketing to me was could I do this? You know I'm dyslexic, I suffer from ADHD, uh, I am shy, I'm introverted. Could I do this? Um, you know, all I was asking for, and I was hoping that it was going to say yes, absolutely, and that's all I needed to hear. Once, once you know, I heard that, um, you know, it was literally just let go of the leash, and I was out the door. I ran to, you know, get, you know, to to, to move this business on. But guys, you know, if you had tried to prospect prospect me in a network marketing company ten or twenty years ago, I'm sure that you would prejudge me as not being the kind of person that would be ready to join a network marketing business. Um, and, and really, you know, you'd probably be right. So I'm really talking to newbies here. I'm talking to people who've never done anything like this before. You know, beginners. Um, and you know, even up until about 2011, just before I decided to quit this industry, because a lot of what I tried was really not working. Um, simply because I, I was really trying to follow what my mentors were trying to get me to do. And this is, you know, kind of an issue in this industry is that, you know, a lot of people, you know, in network marketing are kind of rah-rah, you know, they're always out there getting your face out there, you know, and you now, now you see me in front of a camera and I'm comfortable about, you know, um, doing my videos or so you think I, I, my hands still sweat when I do it and I am nervous. Um, but I'm a lot more comfortable than I used to be. However, that's beside the point. The point is I used to try and follow what my my uh, upline was trying to tell me to do, to get onto social media, to get onto YouTube, to do this, to that. Uh, you know, maybe even, you know, get in touch with people. And I thought felt that I had to face rejection after rejection after rejection. Um, and I didn't really feel that was a whole lot of option for someone like me. So I decided to quit and I quit in 2011 and I didn't get back in until about 2015. But what got me back into the industry was because I felt that I just didn't necessarily have to do what my upline were telling me to do or what everyone else was doing in the, in the company. Um, so, you know, when I got back in, I decided to go my own route um, in fact, it wasn't really my own route. A lot of people were doing it and they were having success. So I thought I could scale that up. So what I did, I mean, you know, it's not necessarily going to work for you nowadays, but I got into classified ad posting. So I got in, you know, I, you, I, I did ads. I, you know, put ads out there into classified ad uh, websites like Backpage and Craigslist. 
Uh, but some of the things that I was doing that's still working today for me uh, are things like traffic exchanges, safe lists, uh, and I, you know, get on the link below, guys, because you know we can share some some useful tips uh, on how to, uh, you know, how how to get you started in that. Um, you know, and some of you already know you know this, but uh, there are some methods that can help you to really scale this up. And and if you schedule yourself and and you you know you commit to maybe two one or two hours a day, uh, that might mean having to wake up a little bit earlier. That might mean may, wait, um, going to bed a little bit later sometimes. Or just cutting out certain things, maybe a little bit less TV, possibly, just so that you can focus and get some tasks done. All right. So you know we've got we've got a whole done for you system. All right, that uh, you can get on the link below. Um, you know, and the system has you know a whole rebrander system that allows you to, um, to to really you know fill in the blanks, you know, and get started and uh, run run this thing, and it's all done for you. All right. So there's no real guesswork as such. As long as you follow the tasks, you know, do your daily work, um, be be coachable, guys. This is very important. Be willing to just do a little bit each day to get to get going. You don't necessarily have to be a rah rah guru on Facebook. And if you do that, you know, you you can you have to understand you can be creative. You don't have to be some network marketing expert. You know, you. You, you must have some skills like you might want to get better at, you know, storytelling, for example. Um, you know, you might be, you know, confident about golf or you might be confident about um, some DIY. But you can, you know, if you have a lot of like minded people that you're connected with and you're, you, you're, you've got more time freedom. OK, if that's important to you to be able to do those hobbies and, and do what you enjoy, those people who are into the same kind of thing as you. Um, might might be kind of uh, intrigued to see what it is you're actually doing and start asking you questions. So how do you find people who are into the same kind of thing as you? Well, you know, you can go onto Facebook, you can do a little search on Facebook in the search engine on, on, on Facebook, on the Facebook platform, and literally just join the groups that particularly the ones that are that are um, you know that that uh, have a lot of members in there and that are that are active. So join those groups, um, send friend requests to people who are into the same sort of things as you. You don't have to join money making groups. You don't have to join network marketing type groups. You can join, you know, whatever it is you're into. So if you're into, you know, golfing or, you know, um, so, you know, um, I don't know, retired men, gentlemen, uh, you know, approaching retirement who are into golf or whatever. I don't know, just you, it can be as tight niche as you like. But if you're into certain things, then look for those particular groups, join those groups, particularly ones with lar large num member, you know, member base um, and uh, send some friend requests. And, um, you know, when when you're posting the same kind of thing on your timeline, I, I tell you what, that's going to really attract a lot of uh, a lot more people to you who are like minded. All right. And if they can see that every now and then you put a little post out there, not like a you know not like a billboard or anything like that not like an ad necessarily but something that kind of like piques their interest saying you know i'm really blessed i'm really glad that i'm able to do these things that i love such as you know playing golf or whatever and i have the time freedom to be able to do that because of some of the choices that i've made such as um, joining the opportunity that i'm a part of you know you can just slip that in there you know towards the end or whatever and then you know if people are interested in what you do you know not only are you sharing what's passion, you know, your passion. Um, and it shows that you're passionate. All right. You know, nobody can take that away from you. Okay. You know, if you're trying to be this guru network marketer, or you're trying to, you're, you're trying to sell products. And that's great. You know, you've got some great products in your network marketing company, and you are probably using them on a daily basis. And you can do posts like that. But if you're doing something that doesn't quite, you know, doesn't quite seem like you, or whatever, or you don't feel comfortable at this stage just yet doing that, you know, nobody can nobody can argue with you that you are, for example, a golfer. Nobody can argue with you, for example, if you are, you know, into DIY, or nobody can argue with you if you are into, um, you know, quad biking or whatever it is. You know, so you know, you know, I I tend to talk a lot about lead generation and stuff like that because you know a lot of it's you know, obviously working for me. And I at the end of the day, we're just talking about what's working for us. But you don't have to be a network marketing guru in order to be you know, a, a good network marketer. All right. And you don't need to have hundreds of thousands of people on your uh, that you personally sponsored in order to build um, a, a large team. So, you know, in fact, you don't need to have hundreds of thousands of people in your downline. 
okay, let alone in your front line in order to build, you know, a, a successful network marketing business. All right. So anyway, guys, I'd love to welcome you in our group um, and get on the link below. Look forward to working with you and uh, getting you set up with what we are passionate about and, uh, you know, potentially partner up with us. Um, so I'd love to welcome you aboard. Get on the link below. Look forward to working with you and uh, we'll definitely chat soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye for now.